Hello and welcome back to another Beyond ATC full flight video. It's about time we got back up in the sky. Last time we did a uh, vector math video that was kind of showing off how it worked. Now we're going to actually show it in action. We're going to take the plane up and we're going to do a what will turn into a vectored ILS approach. And then we're going to shoot a go around and get vectored all around the, around the airport back to the IF so we can recapture the localizer and get back in there. And that's going to require a bunch of vectors and that's going to use a bunch of the vector math that was being shown off in the last video. So it's going to be pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to use any traffic today. This is just going to be us up alone in the sky because I want to focus on the vectors themselves. And we're going to do something a little bit differently as well. Um, I'm not going to be managing any of the radios. We're going to have the co-pilot manage the radios. And this is a feature of Beyond ATC where you can have the uh, radios automatically responded to by your co-pilot as a auto-respond feature. I will manage the primary callouts, but then the co-pilot will take care of the rest. And this is showing off that the co-pilot is aware of the context of what's going on in your flight. It knows where you are. It knows what you're trying to do. Are you climbing, descending? Are you on the ILS course? Are you trying to capture the localizer? It knows what you're trying to do. And so all the callouts that it makes will be contextual to what's happening. And we're going to take this a step further. We're going to utilize two different programs. And this program is FSFO Next. I will have a link to it in the description below if you'd like to check it out. It's really cool. And this program works um, by you can speak to it and it will give you checklists that you can then say, you know, I've done this, I've not done this. And then you can tell it to do flows and it will automatically do all the button work in the Phoenix Block 2, which is what we're using today. And this program has nothing to do with our program. They are two unrelated programs, but they're really cool because you can talk to both Beyond ATC and you can talk to this one. So we thought, wouldn't it be cool if we combined the voices? Uh, this program will talk back to you. It will say what's going on. It will repeat stuff that's happening, do the checklist vocally. And wouldn't it be neat if our program was able to do the same thing to with the radios? So we took the voice from this program and we added it to our program. And so now we have this. Hi there, this is Matt from FSFO. Great that you're using my virtual first officer add-on, and I'm honored to be your co-pilot for this flight. So whenever you hear the radios being used by the co-pilot, that's beyond ATC. Whenever you hear the checklists, that is FSFO next. So these are two different programs, but we are using them in conjunction. One thing that always bothered me was when you hear the pilot speak, and from different add-ons and the pilot's voice is completely different in every add-on it just ruins the immersion so we combine the two and i think this will make for a much better flight experience and boost up that all-important immersion so with that let's jump to the cockpit and get started and one more quick note before we start i got a new microphone so sometimes in the video you'll hear some weird echoing or when i'm using push to talk it kind of muted the microphone so it sounds very low uh, just ignore these, sorry about that. I will get this fixed by the next video. Uh, most of the stuff you'll be able to hear just fine. It's just sometimes when I'm speaking, you'll hear like a weird echo or something, just ignore that. And with that, let's get into it. All right, and here we are on the flight deck. Cleared the program CDU. So we'll go ahead and get our initial information in here. Cost index of 18 and a flight level of 100. Go ahead and pull the wind in. Now, as you can see, we can put the ATIS on COM2, so we can have ATC tuned on COM1, and put the ATIS on COM2, so we'll get that ready to go. Alright, I'm going to check out the aircraft. Zero, 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 broken. Temperature 1.6, 2.12. Altimeter 3005. Landing and departing runway 27. Red back a hold short instruction. Advise on initial contact you have information echo. 
San Diego Airport Information Echo. 04510. Wind 31184 visibility 10. Ceiling 1600 broken. 25000 broken. Temperature 16. 2.12. Altimeter 3005. Landing and departing runway 27. Red back a hold short instruction. Advise on initial contact you have information echo. I just want to take a second and talk about that ATIS. A lot of people have sent messages to me uh, on the video here when I play an ATIS that sounds like that. And they're like, this is read by a person. Like, what is this weird sound? It sounds like a robot. I just want to show this to y'all. That is actually what it sounds like. We are using the exact same program they are using in real airports to generate their ATIS. So this here is liveatc.net. This is the live ATIS from Los Angeles Airport that's happening right now, this very second. So let me play this for you. 2.13, altimeter 2, niner, niner, 2. Remark, bird activity within the airport. Include your call sign and I'll read back. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Delta. So there you go. That is literally what it sounds like at a real airport, a real major airport in the United States. So the program we are using is the same program. That's why I think this is so cool that we have this in our tool. And when people leave comments that that is unrealistic, no, that is the most realistic. So there you go. A limber clearance American 259 with information echo request IFR clearance to Los Angeles. I missed the call sign for that last clearance request. Say again, call sign. Uh, whoops, that's for American 289. -er. American 289 Lindbergh clearance, thanks for echo, cleared to Los Angeles Airport, Seaward 2 departure, Seal Beach transition, Venice filed, climb via SIDIC, set maintain 6000, departure frequency 1-tree 2.2, squawk 5501. Cleared to Los Angeles, Seaward 2 departure with the Seal Beach transition, Venice filed, climb via SIDIC, set maintain 6000, departure frequency on 132.2, squawking 5501 for American 289. American 289, read back correct. Contact ground 129.77 when ready for push or start. Ground 129.77, American 27 and we're taking that seaward 2 departure with the seal beach transition and uh, it looks like we're landing on 2-4 right according to the wind right now with no star I'll give us vectors in plan looks good We'll go ahead and get boarding via the GSX with the uh, Phoenix Block 2, which is so, so good. So we'll slow these uh, prelim values in here. Looks like our load sheet 
came in, seems to match what we're seeing. Go ahead and get the charts out for the ground and for our seaward two departure. Get those start up. So that matches. We'll go ahead and climb out by a six thousand. I was at our secondary flight plan, uh, so we're just gonna go out to a hold at Patters, and we'll just come back in on 27 for the secondary. Yeah, that looks good. Switch this thing over to nighttime. It's always so bright in the middle of the flight, especially when it's getting kind of later in the evening. Matches the 80s, looks like we have a pretty low ceiling here in LA, so I'm probably expecting an ILS approach versus a visual approach because that ceiling is pretty damn low. Seems to be lots of clouds in the area. Subsystems, make sure the hydraulics are all off. APU is on. Alright, we're done refueling, so we can go ahead and pop the uh, fuel in there as well.
Alaskan, ladies and gentlemen, we are uh, at departure time. However, we cannot shut the aircraft door until our customers are seated with their seat belts fastened. Also, please uh, turn off and discontinue the use of all cell phone conversations and other items. And we'll be placed in airplane mode. We'll be uh, starting our journey momentarily. Aircraft is good. So again, remember that's uh, FSFO next. So he's our little co-pilot for the day. And our auto respond voice and beyond ATC will match him. So they will sound like the same person is talking, which is really cool. Pre-flight checklist. Pre-flight checklist. Cockpit preparation. Passenger signs. Aiders. Fuel. Checked. FMGS. Set. Altimeters. Set. Checklist complete. Cool. That means we're almost ready to go. Gotta wait for the boarding to complete and then we get all the bags on and we should be ready to roll. I'm gonna be waxing poetic about the Phoenix Block 2 this whole flight as well, so just prepare for that. If you've not tried it, maybe you have, because you're watching this video, so that means you're into it, but <laughs> God damn is it good. It is like they outdid themselves. Okay, looks like we're boarded. If you are sitting in an exit seat, please review the safety card in the seat pocket. You may need to open the exit in an emergency. Let a flight attendant know if you are unwilling to operate the exit or do not meet the exit seat requirements. Cool. Load sheet matches. Here we are large electronic devices, laptop computers, to be turned off and stowed. Plenty of fuel Smaller and a go-around. A little bit extra for a go-around, I mean. And all calls and texts terminated. Flight attendants will check departure cross-check and all calls. Thank you. So we're probably going to get Bravo and Bravo 1. It's a pretty easy taxi out. That's what I'm expecting at least. Marcher check completed. Bypass pin inserted. Before start checklist. Before start checklist. Doors. Closed. Beacon light. On. Parking brake. Set. Checklist complete. Ooh. GSX, you're doing me dirty. Them. Clipper ground, American 289. Request pushback and engine start at gate, six, gate 8. American 289, Lindbergh ground, pushback approved. Pushback and engine start approved, American 289. Locking gear. GSX with them hovercraft tugs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Release parking brakes. 
commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. Apply 10 arm doors and cross check standby for all call. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats as quickly as possible. Thank you for your cooperation. Oh, going around the block a bit, I guess. <laughs> I love GSX, but sometimes, man. <laughs> We'll be showing you the safety video. Once the video has concluded, we'll be in the aisles to answer any questions you have before we're seated for taxi out. Listen, I'm your purser for today's flight along with Charles and the economy cabin. All right, engine one oil pressure. We do welcome you aboard. Engine one looks good. Starting engine two. your American Airlines flight on its way to one of our many destinations across the globe made possible by our dedicated team members who all do it for one reason that's why your safety is so important to us so let's go over some in-flight instructions so that we can get you safely on your way GT's coming up on number two Good. Selector mode norm. Electronic devices are put away. Carry-ons are placed all the way under the seat in front of you, and your tray table is stowed. Larger carry-on luggage goes in the overhead bin. If you have a handheld device, please switch it to airplane mode now. If your electronic device is all engine stable, please do not adjust your seat and contact a crew member for assistance. U.S. law prohibits smoking, including e-cigarettes, at any time. Tampering with, disabling, or destroying smoke detectors in the lavatories may result in a fine. U.S. law requires all to comply with lighted and posted signs. And Set parking brakes. Now let's review the safety card in your seat pocket, which explains the safety features of this airplane, including the location and operation of exits and flotation devices. This aircraft is designed with escape path lighting on or near the floor. In the unlikely event of an evacuation, leave all carry-ons behind and follow the lights quickly and safely to the nearest exit. A sign will indicate you have reached your exit. All exits on this airplane are clearly marked. Take a moment to locate the nearest one. Keep in mind, it may be behind you. All Unlocking gear. Evacuation slides to use in the unlikely event of an emergency. In a water evacuation, the exit door slides in front and back of the airplane may be detached and used for flotation. You'll find the exact location on your safety car. When directed to exit, jump onto the slide and move away from the airplane. Tow truck disconnected. Bypass pin removed. Masks will drop automatically. While remaining seated, your seatbelt Left is clear. Down right is clear. Or the red streamer and start the flow of oxygen. Place the mask over your nose and, sure. and put the elastic band over your head. Then pull the straps to tighten and breathe normally. Remember to always put your own mask on first before helping others. Know that oxygen is flowing even if the bag doesn't inflate. Life vests are located under, next to, or between your seat. For help locating them, see your safety card. To remove the vest, pull the tab or compartment handle to break the seal. If equipped with an elastic harness, remove the harness before opening the pouch. Remove the vest from the package like this. Put the vest over your head, wrap the strap around your waist, attach the buckle, and pull tight. Once outside, pull the tab to inflate your vest or blow into the red tube. In the Taxi water, checklist. The light on your vest will automatically Flight control. If necessary, full left, full right, full back, full forward, check, trim. Briefing. Flaps. Set. FMA takeoff data. Checklist complete. American 289, runway 27, taxi via Bravo, Bravo 1. Runway 27, taxi via Bravo, Bravo 1, American 289. And a uh, Lippert Ground, Lippert Ground, December 
got some bird activity off the uh, port window here between B Bravo and Bravo 7. Set. American 289, Roger bird activity, thanks. All aircraft be advised, bird activity in vicinity of airport. So as you can see, we can use voice control to call in all sorts of little situations around the airport and extras like that, which is pretty neat. Uh, folks uh, from the cockpit, uh, looks like we're number one for takeoff. Flight attendants, please prepare for departure. So again, just as a reminder, the co-pilot will do all the radios on this flight. So I have auto respond on. Uh, we haven't done that in any of the other flights yet. So the co-pilot knows the context of what part of the flight we're in. He'll make the correct call outs at the correct times. When we change frequencies, he'll do the call-ins. So I'm just going to basically do only the main prompts, like I'm ready for takeoff, the really important comms, and then my co-pilot will take care of the rest. And that is part of ATC, beyond ATC doing that. So FSFO Next is an add-on that is doing all the checklists that you hear and managing all the buttons in the cockpit. That is not our program, but it's a very cool program. But then beyond ATC is doing all of the call-ins to the different frequencies. That's our program. Um, we're using the same voice because we trained the voice off of the voice on FSFO Next. So it sounds like your co-pilot is the same person because in a lot of the add-ons, every, every time the pilot talks, it's a different voice. That always sucks. So this is really nice because it really sounds like you have one single person sitting next to you that's both managing the radios and doing the checklist and everything else. Got more birds over here. American 289, contact Lindbergh Tower 118.3. Contact Tower 118.3, American 289. American 289, Lindbergh Tower, wind tree 11 at 4, runway 27, cleared for takeoff. Runway 27I, cleared for takeoff, American 289. Before takeoff checklist. Before takeoff checklist. Transponder. Set. Engine mode selector. Norm. Packs. Off. ECAM memo. No blue. Checklist complete. Start the chrono. Stick down, stabilize at 50. Take off power set. SRS. Check. Manflex SRS. Auto throttle blue. One hundred dots. Gear up. Four hundred feet. Autopilot off. Pilot off. Mm -hmm. 
acceleration. American up. 289, contact SoCal departure, see you. Contact SoCal departure, American 289. So-call American 289, 2100. American 289, so-call departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 10,000. Flaps 1. Climb and maintain 10,000, American 289. Flaps up. After takeoff checklist, landing gear, flaps, spoilers, checklist complete. American 289, contact Los Angeles Center 126.77, have a good day. Contact Los Angeles Center 126.77 American 289. Los Angeles Center, American 289. Good day. Climbing 8,200 for 10,000. American 289, Los Angeles Center. Continue climb to 10,000. Altimeter 3001. Continue climb to 10,000, altimeter 3001, American 289. Alright, we're well on our way now. If you open an overhead compartment, use caution, as carry-on items may have shifted during takeoff. Man, just climb on. And for everyone wondering, I'm using Topi Eye Tracker. I get a lot of comments. How are you doing these movements where you're looking around the cockpit? Look up Toby Eye Tracker. It is worth the money. It's worth so much more money than they're charging for it. It's a game changer. Go get it. I'm not affiliated or sponsored by Toby Eye Tracker, by the way. I just really like it. Okay, let's get our weather request in. So we have our destination data. We'll go ahead and pick up the uh, ATIS when we're a little bit closer. I think we're still a couple hundred miles away.
beautiful day. I love all the cloud cover. It's going to make for an interesting approach into Los Angeles with all this kind of heavy cloud. It was sitting at a pretty low level. And uh, yeah, we added some donuts. Because here at Beyond ATC, we love the memes. And you can eat them. If you click on the donuts, you can eat them. Never underestimate the power of stupid shit. We love stupid things. People got so mad. They're like, this program is taking so long to come out. Why are you spending time on donuts? I'm like, y'all, that took me one hour to code in, okay? We need a break, too. We're human beings. Calm down. <laughs> Let us have some fun once in a while. Besides, that is going to be a feature in Beyond ATC that you can use, so now you can play with the donuts as well. It's a win-win. It's a delicious win-win. You might be wondering why donuts actually. Uh, that was a meme that started on the Discord from a single comment where someone said that chocolate donuts were the best. And I very rightfully responded that glazed donuts are the best. And so we started generating AI donut memes and it just became a staple of this program. Beautiful. Got little ships down there and everything. So cool. Alright, yeah, so you can see here we're headed towards the Seal Beach. That's our final waypoint, so ATC is going to have to give us vectors after that point because we don't have a direct connection from that to the IF of the approach, which I'm pretty sure at this point is going to be an ILS approach, not a visual, because that cloud cover is pretty aggressive. So I can talk a little bit more about the uh, vector video as well. So I did the vector video that was showing kind of the behind the scenes of how we do vectors. Um, I left out a major piece of it, which is a concept called magnetic declination. There is a true north that sits at the poles of the Earth, and then there's a magnetic north, which is where the electromagnetic field kind of sticks out of the planet, and that's where the compass is aligned to. So we actually had to also include this magnetic declination from the vectors. So when we get up to the Seal Beach transition, we'll be given a magnetic heading. And of course, we need to kind of back calculate that from the magnetic heading into the true heading, and then back to a heading that we can give to the plane. So 
so this should be really interesting when we get up to the transition up here. Runways two four right, two five left. Departing runways two four left, two five right. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Oscar. Los Angeles Airport information, Oscar. Zero five five three zero. Wind two five two at six. Visibility one zero. Ceiling five thousand broken. Temperature one four. 2.11 Altimeter 3001 Landing runways 24 right 25 left Departing runways 24 left 25 right Alright, so now we have Oscar So now the co-pilot knows that we have the context of having Oscar on board So it will call in with having information to Oscar So again, the co-pilot kind of knows the situation of the flight that we're in Put a lot of time into making this so if you don't want to speak, you don't have to. You can use button control or you can have your co-pilot talk for you. You have lots of different ways to play Beyond ATC. Which is pretty neat. It's accessibility is really important to us. You know, you want you want to make sure that everyone can play your game. That everyone can use your mod. You don't want to limit people that can't speak or, you know, just have a preference on the way they used it on the way they prefer to use the program. Top of descent any second here. We should automatically get our landing clearance if we're close enough to our top of descent. But we could call in for it if we needed to. Approaching top of descent. American 289 fly present heading Los Angeles Airport landing runway 24 right. Flight present heading, Los Angeles Airport landing runway 24 right, American 289. American 289, contact SoCal approach 127.4, take care. Contact SoCal approach, American 289. SoCal, American 289, 9900 with information, Oscar. American 289 SoCal Approach, altimeter 3001. Expect the ILS runway 24 right. Altimeter 3001, expect the ILS runway 24 right, American 289. So there you see he called in with Oscar, because he knew that we already had that on board. And we got the ILS just like I thought. Yeah, right there we got the ILS. There's no way they're going to be doing a visual with this much cloud cover. Let's go ahead and get the approach phase on. And that'll slow us down, because really there's not much difference, uh, there's not much track miles between the Seal Beach transition and Mercy, which is our localizer. American 289, turn right, heading 335, descend and maintain 9,100 vectors for the approach. Turn right, heading 335, descend and maintain 9100, American 289. 
Uh, but yeah, there's not that much diff uh, track miles between the Seal Beach transition and Mercy, which is where we need to intercept the localizer. So we should start slowing it down, get it down to green dot speed, and then we can start putting the flaps out as we get in a little closer. This is going to be soupy. Look at all these low clouds. American 289, turn right, heading 360, descend and maintain 4000. Turn right, heading 360, descend and maintain 4000, American 289. Alright, there's our initial descent, get us over to Mercy. Remember, its goal is to try and track us around and then bring us into Mercy at around a 30 degree angle so we can intercept the localizer and then the glide slope. So that should be according to FAA and ICAO procedure that we have to come in at a 30 degree angle to capture that. We'll get the seatbelts on. Our intent here is to get down to final and then we're going to do a go around and I'll show you how the program would handle that. So maybe we're going to even be able to see anything <laughs> after the trip. This is going to be clouds all the way down. American 289, turn left, heading 350. Turn left, heading 350, American 289. So there's Mercy off to our northwest get in right to that 30 degree angle and that's when we're expecting it to give us our final vector and probably just clear us to direct to Mercy because that's the IF of the ILS approach. American 289, cleared direct Merce, cross Mercy Adder above 4000, cleared ILS runway 24 right. Place your seat in the original upright position. Cleared direct Merce, cross Mercy at or above 4000, cleared ILS runway 24 right, American 289. Perfect. And <laughs> this truly is an ILS approach. Wow, we can't even see anything at all. Our 
our speed looks good. Looks like we're going to hit Mercy at exactly 4,000, so we are right on course. Yeah, this should be a nice stabilized approach. Go ahead and get the localizer on. Sometimes amazes me. Look at this. That's so cool. Okay, so we're cleared for the ILS, that means once we pass Mercy, we can go ahead and descend down to 2200, which is where we're going to capture the glide slope over at the next fix following that. Man, just climb on. Approach hold on. aligned on the localizer now and the glide slope is above us which is exactly what we want we want to capture it from below so that we don't get errors ready for the approach briefing okay we're expecting the ILS approach for runway two four Romeo the minimum altitude is 200 feet we'll use manual braking we can expect to park at gate Sierra three in case of go around We'll climb per ATC instructions on the runway heading. Any questions? No. Descent checklist. Decision height. Set. Engine mode selector. Set. Checklist complete. And remember, that is FSFO Lines next. Two. That is not beyond ATC. So those are two different mods being used at the same time. That's what read out that approach briefing. go together so well, which is why we're using them. It really provides an immersive experience, which I love. American 289, contact Los Angeles Tower 133.9er. Over to Tower 133.9er, American 289. American 289, ILS runway 24 right. American 289, Los Angeles Tower, wind 252 at 6. Runway 24 right, cleared to land. Runway 24 right, cleared to land, American 289. Okay. Autopilot off. It's the local, or there's the glide slope. Flaps 3. Flaps 4. 2,500. My plan is to get in here and we'll do a go around once we get once we get below the cloud cover at least. Speed break on. Oh, I can see it. Gear down.
Landing checklist. Cabin. Notified. Go round altitude. Set. Ecam memo. Okay. Checklist complete. Alright, we're stabilized. So we're gonna go toga, go up one flap, wait for positive rate, and then we're gonna gear up. Wait for ATC instruction.
this leg should bring us up about six miles before we get our next right turn, which should then go all the way back out to the localizer intercept, which will be quite far away. So we'll see if ATC recognizes that it's going to be a long vector and tells us. So yeah, here we are headed up kind of north, perpendicular to the airport. Right there, and then get that right vector. such a long segment here. I think this is probably the only part of the video I'll edit just the same time. I think we're literally going to be going straight for 31 miles and we're doing it at 190 knots so it's going to take like 10 minutes. So let me go ahead and I will make a note to myself to edit this in the video to just jump ahead to like when we're a little bit closer so you don't, you don't have to just kind of sit here and wait. turn into the localizer. So I'll get the approach activated. It's been about 30 miles, so I'm expecting another call out anytime now. American 289, turn right, heading 155. Right, heading 155, American 289. stabilized approach. Yep, so we came out here, went north, went all the way to the east down, and now it's clearing us back into Mercy, straight in. And we're right there, perfect. Did it 
exactly what it was supposed to do. It's the power of vector math. <laughs> it was not easy, but when it works, it's a beautiful thing. Meanwhile, we can't see anything out the window, but it sure is beautiful.
stabilized. Checklist complete, we have landing clearance. All that's left is to just land the plane. So I'll try and try and bring it to a stop, run somewhere around AA or Alpha Alpha. Slide slope always seems to go weird in this one, so I'm just going to follow the poppies in. Usually get a glide slope warning, but I think it's just Minimum. for the scenery. Minimum. Continue. Yeah, the glide slope's going crazy. Just glide slope. Glide slope. No, I'm doing it right. You're wrong. 40, 30, 20, retard, 5. Spoilers. Butter. Do you sell out? Reverse your screen. Okay, slow it down. Manual braking at 70. Manual braking. Sit left at AA American 289. Cool. You even told us where to where to exit the runway. One tree, one point nine or seven. Have a good day. Please remain seated with your ground one tree, one point nine or seven. American two eighty nine. And keep the aisles clear of all carry on items. Take a moment to check your seat back pocket for any personal items like tablets and cell phones. When you Los Angeles open the ground, American two eighty nine. Request taxi to the gate. Items may have moved in flight. And thank you for choosing American two eighty nine. Welcome to Los Angeles Airport. Gate three six taxi via Alpha Alpha. Hold short runway 24 left. Gate 36 taxi via Alpha Alpha. Hold short runway 24 left, American 289. American 289, cross runway 24 left at Alpha Alpha. Continue taxi via Alpha Alpha, Echo, Delta 10, Delta. Cross runway 24 left at Alpha Alpha. Continue taxi via Alpha Alpha, Echo, Delta 10, Delta, American 289. Down. Okay. Runway's clear, so we're gonna go over here, take a left, follow that down by a echo. Delta and 
all this down to delta one zero. Hmm. Looks like my GSX has crashed, so let me just restart that really quick. There we go, got that restarted. Alright, let's go ahead and load in the gate. There it goes. I think it was grade 3 5. Let's see, where is that? That's there. Yep, that's right where the taxi instruction is set to go. That's great. Echo Delta 10 to Delta. Okay, perfect. Delta 10. So we turn down here and then make a left on Delta. And then that will get us to the gate right on the right there. Yep, perfect. and slow. Looks like it didn't give me one of my little flag dudes that will wave me in, but that's okay. We can do this by hand. We're pros after all. Not really. Instructions were perfect to gate 3-5 though. That's okay, shut down engines. Turn that off. Shut down flow. we did. Let's get some donuts in here for celebration. <laughs> uh, Alright, we did it. Thank you all for joining me on this vectored go-around flight from San Diego to Los Angeles, showing off some of how BATC actually implements the vector math from the video that I showed prior to this. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to follow along with the progress from Beyond ATC, the uh, best place to do that is the Discord. Link is in the description of the video. We have some great discussions over there. We have lots of donuts, lots of fun. So come on down and you can keep up with all of BATC's features and progress. And uh, we'll hopefully be letting you know very soon when this thing will be releasing. So with that, thank you all for coming along and have a great day.